How to install Hydrogen OS on the POCO F1 What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Hydrogen OS on the POCO F1 Now what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed next thing you need to make sure is that your device is decrypted how do you find that out well for me UI you can go into settings password and security and then privacy encryption and credentials it says that phone is not encrypted that means my phone is decrypted this is a prerequisite for this video and in case your device is encrypted then you do need to decrypt it first how do you do that I have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video next thing make sure you have a backup of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any issues then we will have to do a format data in which case we are going to lose all our pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so again make sure you have a backup of all those things also make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent what are the files which we need now all the files which we need for this process are linked in the description of the video and here are the files which we need so you need hydrogen os system file the vendor file then you need google play store apk the poco f1 firmware the firmware which we are using in this video is 11.0.9.0 and then you need a special build of TWRP recovery by Oxygen OS fans gang. These are the files which we need. Next up, we'll go into settings about phone. As you can see, I am running MIUI 11.0.9.0 based on Android 10 on my POCO F1, and my device is already decrypted. Next thing we need to do is we'll go into passwords and security and remove your password, fingerprint unlock, and face unlock. Once that is done, we can go back, scroll down go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you've removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we're going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device now before you ask me what is this light which is blinking this is the proximity sensor this is not a feature only video cameras which are capable of recording videos can capture the proximity sensor blinking you cannot see it with the naked eye next thing we need to do is boot into twrp recovery for that the first thing we need to do is turn off our device and then once the device has turned off we're going to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the twerp recovery boot logo now once we have booted into twerp the first thing we need to do is install the oof gang twerp so we'll go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder in my case i've created a separate folder called h2os so all you need to do is select this twerp hyphen oof gang file and we're going to select this file and then swipe to confirm flash this is going to replace our existing recovery with the twerp unofficial build by oof gang and there it is once that is done we'll tap on the home button tap on reboot and select recovery and there it is we have successfully booted into twerp recovery by oof gang and you can tell that you are running the twerp by oof gang because you have hashtag oof gang on top next up we'll go into wipe advanced wipe and you need to select dalvik cache system vendor and data these are the only options which we need to select and then swipe to wipe once that is done we'll click on the home button go into install and now again you need to navigate to the folder where you have all the files we'll go into h2os and the files which we need to select are the firmware file tap on add more zips select the system file tap on add more zips and then select the vendor file once we have selected all these files we're going to swipe to confirm flash now once all the files have flashed successfully i do recommend that you scroll up and make sure everything was flashed so here it is script succeeded result was one so this is for the firmware file next up it is flashing the system file 
and it does some checks verifying installation installation successful similarly we have the same message for the vendor image as well installing vendor image installation successful next thing tap on the home button and now all you need to do is reboot and go into system now do note that if you run into any boot loops or any encryption issues you'll have to boot back into twrp recovery go into wipe select format data and type in yes for now we are going to skip the step of format data we'll go reboot and select system and there it is we do have the hydrogen os boot animation on our poco f1 which means our device is booting into hydrogen os do note that the developers do recommend to wait on the boot animation for one or two minutes and if you are still stuck at the boot animation for say five minutes then we need to perform a hard reboot what is a hard reboot well all you need to do is just press and hold the power button while you are at the boot animation and the device is going to reboot so we have been stuck on the boot animation and we're going to perform a hard reboot so while we are still at the boot animation just press and hold the power button till the device reboots and once the device reboots you can let go of the power button and there it is we are back on the hydrogen os boot animation and let's hope this time we can boot into hydrogen os on our poco f1 and there it is we have successfully booted into hydrogen os let me skip the initial setup real quick you can tap on the down arrow and select the language as english now do note that the build does not have ir face unlock so we are going to skip face unlock feel free to set up your fingerprint but i am going to skip it and yes we do need to give oneplus launcher always allow permissions and now we can go into settings and if you go into about phone there it is you can see that we are running hydrogen os on our poco f1 next thing we need to do is install the play store application so we'll go into file manager install packages here it is play store apk tap on it click on allow and then tap on continue to install and once google play store has installed successfully make sure you reboot your device once back into hydrogen os we can unlock our device and as you can see play store has been installed successfully which means you should be able to sign into your google account and download apps from the google play store and there it is peeps that is how you install hydrogen os from the oneplus 6 based on android 10 on your poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you